Hey, hi, hello, what's up, and welcome back with Also Silly Me here. And we're gonna be playing a new game called Beginner's Guide. I originally wanted to play Layers of Fear, but it's not my computer. It's not happening. It's not happening right now. I have to reinstall it on my computer because for some reason, the minute I try to play it, it's just black screen, nothing's happening. I think it's just my computer being dumb because this isn't the first time it's happened with the game. But moving on from that. If you haven't heard of the Beginner's Guide, if you've ever heard of or played Stanley's Par- the Stanley- the Stanley Parable, this is the same people that make it. And I'm hoping it has the same exact kind of feel to it. Like I said, I haven't seen any gameplays for it, all I've seen is the trailer, so I have no idea what this game is capable of, and I have no idea what I'm getting myself into. Hopefully it'll be nothing but laughs. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and start. Make sure audio is on. Maybe it has to be. I hear the birds. Controls. Oh. WASD and mouse. Cool. Gotcha. Hi there. Thank you very much for playing the Beginner's Guide. You're welcome. My name is Davy Reedon. I wrote the Stanley Parable. And while that game tells a pretty absurd story, today I'm going to tell you about a series of events that happened between 2008 and 2011. Okay. We're going to look at the games made by a friend of mine named Coda. Yeah, okay. Now these games mean a lot to me. Uh, I met Coda in early 2009 at a time when I was really struggling with some personal stuff. Oh. And his work pointed me in a very powerful direction. I found mm -hmm. it to be a good reference point for the kinds of creative works that I wanted to make. Okay. So just to start you off, this is, I think, the first game he ever made. Oh. It's a level for Counter-Strike. You can walk around here, by the way. Yeah. And uh, mostly it's just Coda learning the basics of building a 3D environment. But what I like mm. is that even though he starts from the simple aesthetic of a desert town, he then scatters these colorful abstract mm. blobs and impossible floating crates around the level. Mm. And of course, it destroys the illusion that mm. this actually is a desert town, mm. and instead this level becomes a kind of calling card from its creator. It's like a Can reminder that this video game was constructed by a real person. And Can it kind of makes you I wonder, can't. Nope. what was going through his head as he was building this? Hmm. This is what I like about all of Coda's games. I mean, not that they're all fascinating as games, but that hmm. they are all going to give us access to their creator. I want us to see past the games themselves. Mm -hmm. I want to get to know who this human being really is. Okay. And that's exactly what we're going to do here. Okay. So, I'm down. it's 2008, Coda starts making these games, and he never releases any of them. He okay. doesn't put them onto the internet, he just makes them and then immediately abandons them and they sit on his computer forever. Huh. And I think he really understood this image of himself as a recluse. Uh, at one point he jokingly renamed his uh. computer's recycling bin to Important Games Folder. Mm. So, you know, this was just how he worked. He tended to crank them out one after the other without even really pausing to try to understand what he had just made. Mm. Until suddenly one day, he just stopped. In 2011, that was it. He made his last game, and then he hasn't made another one since. Hmm. And that's why I've taken this opportunity to gather all of his work together. Oh, is because mm -hmm. I find his games powerful oh. and interesting, and I'd like this collection to reach him, to maybe encourage him to start creating again. Okay. And if the people like you who play this also happen to find his work interesting, then I'm sure it'll just send that much stronger of a message of encouragement to Coda. So thanks for joining me on this. If you have a particular interpretation that I haven't mentioned here, or if you just need to get in touch, you can email me at d-a-v-e-y-w-r-e-d-e-n at gmail.com. Okay, that's about it for introduction. Let's take a look at Coda's first proper game. All right. As each game is loading, I'll show you the date that it was completed. This first one was made in November 2008. Okay. Oh, okay. Whisper machine status active. Evacuate immediately. Oh. oh. Whisper machine active. Ship destruction immediately. This game is called Escape from Whisper, and it's uh -huh. one of the more generic games you'll see from Coda. I can't go that way. This is pretty intense. Security call breached. Hostile alien life forms inbound. 
What? Where? It kind of looks like this game was abandoned mid-development. For instance, you have this gun, which you'd think would indicate that there are supposed to be monsters or enemies somewhere. But yeah. then clearly there are no enemies anywhere. There are not. You can't even reload the gun when you run out of bullets. But ultimately we don't really know. Mm -hmm. Maybe Coda thought that actually it was complete the way that it is. And I think that we should talk mm -hmm. about his games for what they are, rather than for what they're not. I've got poems, I'm thinking I really gotta shoot something. Oh, hello. I love how you can see they the should. bottom of the universe from this room. The bottom? Oh, literally the bottom of the universe. Oh, that's cute. So there's a lot of sounds going on, but I don't know what I'm running from. Oh, okay. Apparently, this space station has a labyrinth on it. Oh, of I, course it uh, does. Sure, I don't know. There's really no reason for it that I've ever been able to discern, so uh, in the interest of time, I'm just gonna skip you on past it. Okay. Oh, okay, cool. Okay, this is the part that's interesting. Uh huh. The game has this narrative about the whisper machine and how it has to be turned off, and then you get to the engine room. Okay. Where's the engine? Okay. Hey, you there in the engine room? You could save us all. How do you that see me? That is powering the whisper machine. We could disrupt it by introducing a great enough heat signature. If you, your body could stop the beam. It's so much to ask, but for all of our lives, would you do it? Could you give yourself? Mm, maybe. Wait, give my sway as in I kill myself? I mean, I guess. If it says that seems kind of anticlimactic, but sure, okay. Oh, I legit just Let me die, pause huh? You for a second. What you just experienced stepping into the beam and then dying uh -huh. is probably what Coda had initially intended when he was developing this level. Yeah. But when he first compiles and plays it, something goes wrong. There's a bug somewhere. And uh -huh. this is what happens instead. Because uh, there's no scene. I'm just, I'm just dead. Oh, did it just restart from there? Oh. 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 Um. 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 The beam causes you to start floating. Um. And this is an important moment for him. Because yes, this is technically a glitch, but Coda identifies something human about it. Like how small it makes you feel in the face of this larger chaotic system. Mm. Or this floating could be the afterlife, a peaceful place, juxtaposed against all of the hysteria that you've just had to traverse. I, I don't even know. Uh, I have no idea what he was thinking. But what's clear is that after making this, something lodges itself in his brain. He wants mm. to do more of these really weird and experimental designs. So he stops work on this and moves on to a stream of tiny little games that go in all sorts of directions. Let's go ahead and take a look at the first game he made after leaving this one behind. This actually, that actually would have been pretty cool to have seen after that, just to have some, well, the past was behind her. I'm just saying, that would have been cool, just have like some symbolism behind him dying, behind him dying, behind him dying. I can't move. My, oh. oh. Yep. In this game, you can only walk backwards. Oh. Oh. Okay. 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 Interesting. That's interesting. Oh. So oh. it's a short and relatively minimalist experiment combining motion and narrative. Okay. It is less advanced than the previous game, but actually Why it seems it to be changing? more focused, more complete. Code is trying to give it a unique voice rather than simply basing it on a pre-existing trope. It is interesting. When she stops and looks, it becomes clear. Oh. Okay, we're going somewhere. Do, 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 do. But if the future is always behind her, how will she find the strength oh, oh, to confront it? Okay. It's a short little thought. It says what it wants to say, oh. and then it ends. Didn't need anything more than that. Hmm. Which, to me, is why it works. Because it gets out quick. Okay. I, mean, I wouldn't one. imagine a game like that lasting much longer. I mean, it's oh, um, I don't. Oh, oh, okay. You are now entering. Oh, shut up. 
Please don't. I don't like this. I don't like jump scares. I'm not. Oh. And oh. that's it. Okay, the meaning of this game won't be clear just yet. Please be patient with me for a few more games, and I promise you'll see what makes it interesting. Okay. We're in number now. Oftentimes, Coda would put bizarre titles like this one at the start of his games. Oh. 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 I wish I'd known him at the time that he was making these early games. Well, it's kind of like Bound. He would really only talk to me about like his more work as he was making it. Once he stopped work on a game, like, that was it. It was dead to him. <sighs> and I don't agree with that at all, but what are you going to do? This kind of... This whole little environment here, it kind of reminds me of Bound. But a more industrial version, I guess? Here, played Bound. It's the... Oh. Am I getting slower? Huh. Once you've been slowed to an absolute crawl, the door at the top of the stairs opens. Oh. So why, if code is not showing that these scenes me to anyone, why bother opening the door at all? Hmm. Well, to show you, I'm modifying the game here so that when you press enter, it'll bring you back up to full speed so you can enter the door for yourself. Oh, I have to press enter. Oh, okay, yep. Alright. Oop, good in there. Oh, pair. Play the pair of floating eyes when you. Oh, 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 oh. You are a gate. <laughs> huh. Oh, so what are these? Are like a just room different that's ideas? Warm and nice and filled with little ideas for games. Mm hmm. You played loud, boundless. Coda would often around. tell He's me people. that he didn't mind if people <laughs> thought of him as cold or distant. He said that he knew that he was Aww. actually a vibrant and compassionate person, but that it takes time to really see that. It can be a very slow climb to get there. You're a queen, dusting your jewelry until your kingdom is destroyed. Aww. Where you to scream to Omega every 15 seconds to keep playing. There's some cute little ideas. Ready, set, fish. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Boop. Alright. Get in there. Alright. Let's... Oh, okay. Nothing's on any of those. Stairs. <laughs> the orange line just reminds me of the uh the adventure wait was the adventure line orange or was it yellow in Stanley's parable? Well this is new for Coda. It's an actual puzzle. Oh. Go ahead and see if you can solve it. <gasps> Puzzles! I love but oh. Oh Okay. Okay. Alright, fine. Alright. That's not a puzzle. Oh, why is that all misty? I don't like that. Hmm. 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 Okay. Well, you know what? You know what? Hmm. I'm confused. What's happening? It's a puzzle. So, what am I doing? I'm confused. What am I doing right now? Can I go back up here? No. Hmm. This is infuriating a little bit. I don't get it. What am I supposed to do? Like, if I had a clue or something, that'd be great. But I don't even have that, so I'm mad confused right now. These are floorboards. Yep. Those are floorboards. This is some cement. Or marble. Probably cement. Alright, let me just walk you through it. Yeah, thanks. You can hit the switch on the outside to open the door, uh -huh. then hit the same switch and walk through the door before it closes. Oh, I was wondering if it was that. the switch on the inside, which will open the second door. Oh. Uh. Don't forget that solution, because we're going to see this puzzle again soon. Oh, okay. We're gonna see it a lot. I keep- this is the second time I've seen these dots. What do these dots do? More orange. Oh, this is nice. I like the- So that seems to be it, right? You walk down a corridor, you solve a puzzle, you get to the end. Simple enough. Mm -hmm. Alright, now I'm going to modify the game again, so that when you press enter, it'll remove all of the walls from this room. Okay. <gasps> oh! Oh! Oh wait, these are oh these are all those are all hallways to different room bruh. 
How about that? Uh, there was more to it than we had any way of knowing. Uh, I actually find it funny that this game comes after the stairs game since they essentially convey the opposite idea. Oh so uh, in the stairs game, a dull exterior concealed a rich interior. And then in this level, a dull interior hides this fantastic outer world. Good grief. Either way, I think that the point is the Can same. Can I jump off? Is that no. most of the time you don't get to know what you're missing mm -hmm. or even that you're missing anything. That's not your role as a player. Yeah. So if your role here is not to understand, then what is it? Well. More January. Oh, we're back at this. Oh, God. Uh, why did you bring me back to this game? You are now exiting. Okay, good. Uh -huh. Great. So this, combined with the entering game from earlier, tells us that Coda believes his games are connected somehow. It could even be that the stairs game and the puzzle game are literally connected in between this and the entering game. There's a bigger picture that all of his games are meant to play a role in. Some larger meaning that we won't be able to grasp until we've seen all of them. Mm -hmm. And once we have, we can step back and start to understand what exactly that bigger picture is. Gotcha. The great lovely descent. Ugh, excuse me. Oh, it's a little, what is it? It's like a farmhouse cafe kind of deal. Let's talk about video game development for a second. Mm -hmm. Every video game runs on what's called an engine, which determines what the game can and cannot do. So in other words, the engine is a set of tools for game development. Mm. Gotcha. To make all of these games, Coda is using an engine called Source. Okay. Like all engines, Source has certain things that it does well, and it has certain things that it does poorly. One of the things that it does very well is boxy linear corridors. Oh. That's why so many of Coda's games are set in these large, flat, empty rooms, is just because he's working with what the engine does well. Oh. 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 The tools available to the creator shape what kinds of creative okay. work they're going to end up making. You might consider paying attention to the architecture in Coda's games to notice huh. how they seem to fall? stem from an engine can I fall? that's very oh, good I can at fall. producing <gasps> linear boxy Oh corners. my god, this is cool. I didn't know I could fall. Oh. Oh, I was gonna go all the way down there anyway, apparently. Oh, okay. Well, apparently I was gonna fall anyway. Wow, this is cool. This is so cool. What's that? I want that. Oh, come on, I want that. It's fine. Probably just a light anyways. Oh my god. Oh. Okay. What goes up there? What goes up there? I came from... No, I came from there. So... Oh wait. It's blocked off. Never mind. Never mind. I don't know where I'm going. Am I going into an empty slaughterhouse? Oh. Okay. Oh. 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 Okay. Alright. That's fine. Oh. This prison, Aww. funny enough, in Coda's original design, the door stayed shut for a full hour before letting An it hour? If you don't mind, I think we're gonna skip that. Jeez. This is An something hour. you can just argue about a lot. You know, whether a game ought to actually be playable, whether mm. it means anything if no one can get through it. Mm. And I would always defend that, you know, all this work goes into the game, why not make it playable and accessible? Mm. And so we just got into heated arguments over it, and there was one time that after one of these conversations, he went home, and a day or two later, he sent me a zip file entitled Playable Games that mm. was full of hundreds of individual games each of which was just an empty box that you walked around in and nothing else. Yes. Believe me, I played every single one of those just to find out if there was like a gag hidden somewhere. Ooh. There wasn't. He, he was mad. He said, oh, you want a playable game? All right, I'll give you a playable game. There you go. I see Coda is a bit of a, a pity person. Pity? A petty person. All right, well, that one doesn't have a light, so... And again, with the three dots. Is that a, is that a symbol there? Is that supposed to... It's the puzzle again. Mm. 
with the exact same solution as the last time. Okay. I just don't There's like still the no clear in indication of what makes this puzzle so special that Coda is going to return to it over and over. But I promise I'll share with you my interpretation very shortly. All right. I don't even know what I'm looking around for. This isn't this isn't one of those games where something's hidden somewhere. At least not that I'm aware of. <laughs> oh, listen. They're all listening. Oh, fireplace, I guess. Oh, you there. Did you come from up above? Here, what Coda up begins here? using a kind of dialogue system that he fashioned out of the engine's huh. chat capabilities. Use the one, two, three buttons on your keyboard to respond. What was up there? There was a world stamped with whiteness. Enormous prison I spent hours in. There are these floating colored blocks. I like the f colored blocks better. That's the world above. You've been there. Yes. Now this is important. Did you have to get through a puzzle with two doors and switches? Hmm. Yes, I did. Literally the last thing I did before coming here. Yes. Again, perfect. Now please, tell us how you solved it. Tell us the solution. Tell us how to get to the other side. I didn't solve it. Someone else let me in? I don't know. Or... That's kind of weird that they haven't solved it. I mean... Technically, he told me the answer, so I didn't solve it, so I'm just gonna say two. You didn't solve it? So you have learned nothing. You cannot help us escape this prison. You are not the one I need. Oh, I'm sorry. Surely there will be someone else. I'm sorry. Oh, alright. Bye. More listen people? Oh, they look upset. They look upset. Hi. Hello, how did you get here? Was there a puzzle you had to pass through? Yes, do you want to know how to solve it? No, no, we actually find the black space between the doors to be far more interesting. Have you seen it yet? Uh... Um... Why would I care about the space between the doors? It's actually really creepy. There is a reason, but it may take time before you understand, which is fine. You'll see it again soon. I'm sure. Okay. Interesting. The space is actually very uh, unsettling for me, but I guess if that's your hidey hole place so of make peace. One last descent down to the final floor of the level. Okay. We're in the basement. Are we going to the street now? Are we going outside? Is this outside? Oh, it is. It's outside. It's a... No, it's not. Not really. This is creepy. This is... I don't like this. This is creepy. It's a lamppost. Yes. Okay, I can't tell you quite why, but for some reason, Coda fixates on this lamppost. Uh-huh. It's going to appear at the end of every single one of his games from here on out. Okay. I'll tell you what I think. Uh, I think that up to this point... You know, he's been making really strange and abstract games with no clear purpose. Mm -hmm. And maybe you can only float around in that headspace for so long. Because mm -hmm. now he wants something to hold on to. He yep. wants a reference point. Gotcha. He wants the work to be leading to something. Gotcha. He wants a destination. Okay. Which is what this lamppost is. It's a destination. Gotcha. We're going to see it in the work as well. His games are just going to become a lot more cohesive, a lot more fully developed, with more of a clear idea behind them. <laughs> and as we go, that idea will get clearer and clearer and clearer. Okay, good, because I have no idea what the idea is right now. Outside of him wanting to whoop, be some sort of a... I don't want to say a shepherd, but I kind of feel like I'm going down the path, I'm being lit down. This game is connected to the internet. As you walk around, you can leave notes. All notes you see are left by other players, okay? Oh, okay. All right, cool. No, oh, it's just gonna be like, uh, like Dark Souls. What? What'd you say? What'd you say? What you? Oh, nice room. Not. Nah, oh, okay. So first off, I'm sure you can How deduce you this, this but <laughs> this game is not connected to the internet. All of the notes that you're gonna see have been written by Coda. Mm. This was actually the first game of his that I ever played. 
This was shortly after I met him at a weekend game jam in Sacramento, where I grew up. I saw him working on this very level, and it was just so different from anything that anyone else was doing. So right away, Holy I was shit. like, I have to be friends with this person. Jesus. In retrospect, I think Ugh. I was probably a bit too Ugh. pushy trying to get his attention. Uh. I was over-enthusiastic. Hmm. But he was very gracious about it and very patient with me. Aww. And I Hello. Hi. Him eventually. Uh, reasonable. Oh, mm. Feel free to skip over any of these notes if they're not doing anything for you. Nothing extra is going to happen if you read all of them. Either way, I have... to me, they convey a sense of loneliness. I see this person who's filled with thoughts and feelings and beliefs and has no way to express them <laughs> except as time. scattered and unheard voices in a game that wasn't meant to be played. I'm king of the world. That's cute. I want to read the notes. It's cute. Is it babe? It's ironic, oh, isn't it? That in playing this game and seeing how alone Coda often felt, that we get to know him better and actually kind of connect with him. And I have mm -hmm. to be honest with you, this idea is really seductive to me. So I could just play someone's game and see the voices in their head and, and get to know them better and have to do less of the messy in-person socializing. <laughs> I can just get to know you through your work. A <laughs> movie narrator in I a world. this is why I always liked Dakota's games so much. It's because it felt like they let me have that connection. Cool, it felt as bro. though he was inviting me personally into his world. This is cool, though. And then I feel less lonely, too. Hmm. Hey, I can type here. I'd rather be doing literally anything other than playing this. I saw a flying penguin. Let me tell you, it was the most majestic thing I've ever seen. I don't feel like living because nothing will ever be as majestic as that. I never want to see again if nothing will be that beautiful again. I am crying now in front of my eyes. I must go now to do that. Oh, person, you. Is there a way to go downstairs or no? I mean, I get the <laughs> butt ass, but I get what he was saying with the whole seductive thing, because it's definitely a concept that's not used a lot in games. I kind of want to- I want- I want to go down there. I want to see that one lonely thought. It's one- it's just one by itself. I want to see what it says. Uh huh. Huh, I just noticed whatever way you're facing, they're gonna face you regardless. Uh, yeah. It reminds me of a Dark Souls and Bloodborne. Everyone telling you, don't go that way, or kill that guy. Don't kill that guy. Don't listen to them. Need other side. Door, why you so? Door, how open? Oh, did they all say that? Oh, makes games. Makes game. Includes door. Cannot open door. Thanks. <laughs> open sesame. Alright, well. New room. Oh, that's pretty. I'm just gonna read all these notes in here. Welcome. Congratulations. I don't really know where to go with this. And congratulations. You made it to the room. That's all you need to congrats for. And that's all you need to congrats for. Nothing else. Uh, I'm just gonna keep passing the notes. This is where I get off. I failed to write anything here. Yeah, okay. This is like a lot of notes and I'm going through all this passageway. So let's just hurry up and just go towards the painting because that looks really pretty. I want to go towards the painting. Oh, that's pretty. I got that's a painting I would have actually in my house. That's just it's pretty. Anyone who says otherwise is lying. <laughs> More room. At the end of this level, we're going to see the puzzle again. And here, I'll tell you what I think the puzzle means. Each of these games represents an idea that was on Coda's mind at the time that he was making it. Uh huh. And the puzzle is a way of closing the door on a previous chapter of his life before moving on to the next one. Mm, more In each symbolism. of his games, after exploring a theme that, you know, he might find difficult, Coda can then place this puzzle that he knows has a reliable solution, he understands exactly how it works, and so it gives him a simple mechanism for moving on. Oh, God, because seriously? Because there's this dark area between the doors, mm. a space between spaces. That's so bad in here. Before you move on, you get to pause. Just for a moment, a few seconds to reflect on and let go of the events that led you here. Hmm. To step back and connect the pieces together. To grasp at that elusive bigger picture. Yeah, I'm gonna walk away because all these damn whispers. Typewriters? It's loud. How do you leave notes? 
How do you leave a note about asking how to leave notes? Oh my god. Are you there? Please say something. It can be anything, I just need you to say something. Talk to me, please. Why are you having so much difficulty talking? Oh, oh. Oh, 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 okay, okay, okay. Maybe you Porn stars die okay, too. This one is tough. It's gonna kind of just spin its own wheels for a few minutes. Hang with it. Okay. Awesome. I think I'm gonna. I don't know if I can end it here. Can I end it here? Oh, okay, cool. So I'm gonna end it here because this game is pretty interesting and is the music purposely just like skipping itself okay whatever anyways i'm just gonna end it here i mean this is a cool game thus far and i'm looking forward to how it's going and i like that with this one it's kind of more of it's a continuous path but it's so many different pathways you start to forget that you're still on that same pathway because simply just because the narrator is linking them all together as you're going through it with him so that he can get you to that final destination because otherwise i'm pretty sure if i was left to my own devices i wouldn't be getting anywhere near to the end of the game <laughs> i'd probably be looking around everywhere but so with stanley parable it's you get various endings depending on what choice you make and how you go about listening to the narrator and if you do choose to listen to the narrator whatsoever you have the you know the be obedient path where you listen to his every word and you get the i think you get the true ending doing that versus if you don't listen to the narrator and you get alternate endings and you even get endings outside of what you expect from the game with this there it seems like there's only one ending, but you have to go through these different pathways that the narrator takes you through to see what the end of the game is. And I'm looking forward to it, like I said. And there, this one seems to be a lot more straightforward. It's not really the same kind of humor as Stanley Parable, which is fine, you know. Just because it's made by the same people, it doesn't mean it has to have the same kind of, you know, air to it as the as the other game. But um, I like that it had it has like these subtle little things in it and even like the little hidden insignias with the three dots I want to know what those mean I wonder if it just means it's a puzzle if because I've noticed there are more around with the puzzles than if anything else even if it is the same puzzle but um, you know I'll play it I'll play around with it more with the next coming videos for it and uh, that's all the time I have for this video. So thank you guys again for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. And I will see you guys again next time. Okay, bye.